Well, it's a pretty wet morning out here this morning. So I think I'll head down in the shop and get to work on our next project. This is pretty lousy. Can't do too much out here today. Okay, it's a little warmer down here. Yeah, we'll get to work on some project. Our project this morning is going to be this little guy here. Uh, it's a little uh, box. I call it a delivery person thank you box. Um, you get a lot of deliveries from UPS, FedEx, Mailman, Amazon. A lot of various people come to the house many times. And sometimes you might like to thank them for doing a good job, if they are doing a good job. And uh, I've seen some of these around. Some people put these out for uh, their delivery people. <clears throat> Especially at the holidays when they're really busy. <clears throat> it's going to be a little box in the front of this sign. The sign stands up behind it. And you can put maybe a couple candy bars in there. Probably some gum pack. Or uh, find out the uh, delivery man is a health nut. You might want to put a little pack of celery in there or something like that. In any event, uh, we're going to work on this this morning. Fairly simple project we're going to do. Nice easy cut for beginners on the scroll saw. And we're going to use the whole th make the whole thing out of uh, quarter inch birch ply. Now if you want this plan, it's free. Uh, you can look down below. You'll see the little link down there. You just click on it and you'll be able to pick this up and make one for yourself. You can put it out on your front porch if you have one. Hang it on your door. Put it on your mailbox. A lot of different variations you can do with this. So uh, let's get started. All right, I got this piece of uh, birch plywood, quarter inch, and I uh, cut it down the size of the pattern and uh, put some uh, green painter's tape on there. I'm going to goo up the back of this pattern and stick it down here. I use some uh, glue stick to put that down as I've done in the past. Okay, we're all gooed up here now. Just put this down on the bottom so it lines up with the bottom. Make it easy to uh, cut. You don't have to do another long cut if you do that. Alright, put that down nice and snug. Now we gotta make some uh, entry holes. I'll use my uh, drill press to go around and cut those out and uh, that way I'll be able to insert the uh, the blade from my scroll saw to do the cutting that I need to do. I'm going to go do that now and I'll see you over at the scroll saw in a little while. Alright, over here at the scroll saw I've got all the uh, entry holes cut out here. I got a number five reverse tooth blade on my saw here and we can probably start cutting we'll start with the uh, bottom of the truck do that first try to keep my hands out of the way so you can see what's going on here fairly easy cut if you're new at uh, scroll sawing uh, just take your time slowly cut the areas you want to do don't be afraid to move your board around it's one of the first things I thought about when I started. I was always afraid to turn because I was going to break something. Don't worry about it. Everything will fall into place. Feel free to do that with the patterns, uh, that's what they're there for, just as guides. 
you can do what you want with them after that. Uh, could have made some extra lining here around the wheels and things like that, but it's a simple little project, so we'll leave it as is. Now this is eight inches across, so our front panel has got to be eight inches across, and of course we've got our side panels which we're going to put on for the box as well. Let's go work on that now. Okay, I've uh, cut out the pattern, taken, taken the pattern off, taken the tape off, ran it over the sander there a bit, smoothed it out. And uh, the other pieces I'm going to need are the uh, front panel, which is 8 by 2, and I'm going to need two side panels, 2 by 5. So what I did was I simply cut those out on my table saw. You could use the patterns here if you want, and... Uh, just cut them out uh, according to the pattern, but it's just as easy to do them on a table saw. So I've got all the pieces that I need right here right now. So the next thing we want to do is glue this together. All right, to glue this together, what we're going to do is make it as simple as possible. Nothing complicated here. Take a side panel, put a little bit of glue on it. The old mustard glue, which is actually type on. Put some on the side, like that. And then simply rest it up against the section we're going to want to glue it to, like that. This paper towel is being a pain in the neck here, evidently. Hold it on there with your fingers. And we'll just let that dry there. And we'll do the other side. And then of course we can uh, do the front panel. So we'll let that dry now. And while we're waiting we'll go rummage up a few other things. Okay, I did the other side of this, glued it up drying for a few minutes. I need just to hold there for a while because we're going to set this up for gluing again. Take these off of here. There we go. And we now take the other piece that we have there, the other 8 inch piece, and we'll put that on the front. So what we'll do is we'll put some glue on here, both sides. A little bit of glue on there. Don't need a lot, but enough. Spread it out. And then we just lay this on the end pieces like that. Make sure they're right up to snuff on the edges there. And take your clamp and once again. Making sure that it's nice. and down. All right. Once again, the waiting game. Just let that dry, and we'll come back and we'll figure out how to do the bottom. I want to make everything as easy as possible here. Okay. Well, we're waiting for those edges to dry. So that we cut off the piece of wood that we're going to need for the bottom. Now it's got to be 8 inches across, so uh, I've already measured that on here, and we're going to cut an 8 inch piece, but what I wanted to show you here was this. Uh, with this birch ply, if you just cut through with the blade way up above, which you could do, it's going to rip out a lot of little pieces here on the front and on the back. So the best way to do this is to take the... Uh, board and make sure it's down below the surface about halfway 
So you can you can run your finger right on there and never even touch that blade. And we're going to do it in two cuts. First of all, we cut through the eight inches that way. Make sure I got this lined up again. Okay. And then we'll go back and we'll cut the other side and then the other half will cut through. And both edges will be nice and smooth. The edges will be none of that ripping out that you usually have. Here we go. Okay, the measurement in the other the other side is five and seven sixteenths roughly. And I think I've got that here, so what we're gonna do is cut that. We'll use the same method, we'll do the half and half. Those come out smoother than if uh, just went right through. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit more. There we go. Here we go. Okay, I went down a bit too far, so I had to go back and back it up a little bit. But uh, the edges look nice and smooth now. Let's go attach this to the uh, bottom of the box now. Okay, both sides are holding pretty good now. So what we're going to do is go along the bottom edge. Some glue, of course. Don't need a lot of glue, just a little bit. This is not going to be a piece that's going to be bopped around a lot. You have to worry about it falling apart. I think uh, you just put it on the steps or you hang it up on the wall and uh, it'll do its job. You just need a little bit of glue on there. Go all the way around the edges. And then, since we cut this to size, all you have to do is set it down here. But it won't take long. There we go. All right. All right, I think we're pretty well set there. I'll let that dry. I'm going to put another clamp in the front here, I think. Maybe one in the back. Just to make sure that tightens down really good. Yeah, that's good. A little bit of squeeze out there so that does make a difference. And we'll put some in here too. There. Alright. We'll let that dry. Come back and take a look at the finished product. Okay, finished off the box here. Sides are nicely glued up and uh, haven't put any finish on it. I think I'll leave it just plain for now. I uh, could use just a clear spray on it or maybe dress it up with some paints. Put a lot of candy in there if you want or you could put other things as I suggested. Well, <clears throat> there's our little project for today. If you like this, just click the like button down below. You might want to subscribe to the channel also if you get a chance. Um, well, thank you for watching.